Now, I have this type of OCD, which really sucks because it doesn't involve being really clean. Um, it's a type called Pure O. My name is Bryony Gordon. I'm the author of the book Mad Girl. I'm the founder of Mental Health Mates and I'm a columnist at The Telegraph. What inspired me to talk about this subject of mental health was my own mental health. Um, I spent many years not talking about it and I got to the stage where it was such a huge thing inside me that I kind of had to talk about it to get to literally get it out of me. Mental health, mental illness, um, it, it has power on, over you as long as you don't tell anyone about it, as long as you don't talk about it. So what all mental illness has in common is it lies to you. It tells you you're a freak, it tells you that you're alone, it tells you that no one's um, going to understand what you're going through and that's that's a lie. And so the moment I spoke about it, it was like putting your head above the parapet and suddenly everyone sort of came to me talking about their own mental health. And, um, and I realized then it's really, really normal to feel weird. And I kind of want to bang home that message as much as possible that the really weird people are the people that feel normal all the time. People like me can stand up and scream and shout about mental illness, and mental health issues, all we want. But um, I hope that by doing that, the government and people in positions of power will eventually listen <laughs> and realise that a lot more funding needs to be put into it, into mental health um, issues. It's kind of a no-brainer to invest in mental health because a happy country is a healthy country and vice versa. And you get more from your employees if they're happy. And, um, you know, I think obesity to a certain extent is a mental health issue as well. Um, drug addiction, alcoholism, our prisons are full of people that have mental health issues of children that never got addressed. So. Uh, that's what we need to do. We need to increase funding and um, resources. What was amazing about interviewing Prince Harry was that, that he opened up and seemed so normal and I really felt like I was sitting through a moment of history in a way, which was a senior royal talking about their own mental illness and to be part, a small part of that was really felt amazing. It felt like I was taking a negative and turning it into a positive. Um, and We've interviewed loads of people for the podcast since, people, you know, from nurses through to royalty, through to pop stars, through to academics and <clears throat> philanthropists and children. And I think what I learned is that, is it, well, it's every time you speak to someone with a mental health issue, you feel less alone. Talk about it, normalize it. Um, some of the most brilliant people have mental illnesses. You shouldn't be scared of it. Don't think that this person is going to lose, you know, productivity because of it. You know, they will if they don't get any help. But if you help them, you can make a virtue of it. My best techniques for finding headspace. Uh, running. I love running. Um, cutting out alcohol. Eating well. And a really key thing, I think, to tell people is be kind to yourself. Listen to that voice in your head. Would you take that from another person. No, you probably wouldn't in most cases. So be kind to yourself because that's where it all starts.